What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the Nisi Fox universe, welcome. It is great to meet you. If you're returning, hey. Okay, so I have been going back and forth about whether or not I was going to put this video out there, what I was going to say, how personal was I going to get, a whole bunch of just, I don't know, issues or like, here's the thing, right? And let me preface this by saying, I'm not ashamed of anything that I've done. I don't have any guilt with what I've done. The thing is, this is like uber personal, right? And I go back and forth between how personal should I get in my videos and how surface level should I keep it. But as you can see by the title of the video, I decided to go there anyway. So here we are, my experience and why I got a BBL, or as they call it, a Brazilian butt lift. Now, most of y'all probably won't give a damn that I even got a Brazilian butt lift because you're like, hey girl, it's 2019, do what you wanna do. Others of y'all are probably judging right now. Stop judging, clowns. But whatever, right? I'm hoping it's more on the former than the latter, but either way, I don't care. I'm gonna share my story with you anyway. So here we go. Okay, so I don't think I have to go into detail with you all about this, but for those of you who don't know, a Brazilian butt lift or BBL is a basically a fat transfer, right? So they suck the fat out of places in your body that you don't want it, and they put that fat in your behind to make it look voluptuous and pretty. So that's what I got. That's what it is. So I got my body done March 25th of 2018 and it was a wild ride. So I got fat removed from my midsection, my lower back, my mid back, my bra line, and my arms all to be placed in my badonk. Um, I won't go fully into detail about like all of those things. I'll talk about that more in part two, but there are a lot of places, let's just say that. Uh, and I'll show you some before and after photos too so you can kind of get a feel of what I look like throughout. Why I decided to get my butt done. So most people, mm, you know what, I won't say that. There are people in this world who think if a woman gets her butt done, she wants it done for male attention or for female attention if she goes that way. Let me tell you, that is not why I got my butt done. I got my butt done because like most people, I really admire the female body. I'm that woman who we're walking down the street. If I can see you slugging from the front, I am definitely going to look back like. Oh, okay. That's me. So it's not that I wanted that effect from other people, but I just love the way it looks. I love the way it looks when a woman's hips goes out, go out, or when her butt just sits really nice, especially like as a twerker, I am a self-proclaimed twerker. As a twerker, I love how it looks when it's just doing its thing. I love the female body, especially a nice butt with a nice waist. So therefore, that's why I got it done. Contrary to popular belief, I actually don't like a lot of tension being on me at all, which is why I didn't go overboard with my behind. I'm not that girl who like wants to be checked out in the club or wants to be the center of attention or wants you to look at her chest or whatever. That's not who I am. So that's actually um, one of the negatives that I'll talk about a little bit later as to why I decided to get this done and what the negatives and pros are, but that's not who I am. So it's not because of male attention. Let's not get it twisted, okay? Flat ass, big stomach and all, I have always, okay, been able to pull them, men and women. So that's not the reason. I just liked how it looked. I really wanted like the shape of it all. So contrary to popular belief, people will be like, well, you could look at the same effect in the gym. That's actually not true, right? When they do a fat transfer and they put that fat in, they put it in places where like you can't necessarily get 
that type of workout, right? When you're working out, you can target areas as much as you want to, but you can't really have full say over what your body looks like when you're doing it, right? So as someone who has like a flat butt, sure, I can build my slump and muscle and build muscle, but I'm not gonna have any fat there. And I wanted the fat there. I wanted the juiciness. I didn't want a firm butt. I wanted a nice like <laughs> type butt. So I actually planned on starting a channel a long time ago and I actually filmed parts of my BBL experience. So, should I show you that? I am gonna show you that. I'll show you bits and pieces of kind of what I went through. <laughs> so watch and learn. Hey y'all. So I'm on my way to the bank and I'm gonna try to get in Target too, but I'm a few hours out from the surgery. I think yesterday I was feeling anxious. I think that level of anxiety has really risen. Like the time is here. Okay y'all, so I just filled out all the paperwork and I'm about to go back. I look really rough. My eyebrows on done, I got no earrings on. I ain't gonna lotion on. Okay, hey, y'all. So, I'm really freaking out. Um, might have had a little nervous breakdown. That sounds dramatic. A little small anxiety attack. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I want to wake up. And I'm thinking that if I don't wake up, it's going to mess up a lot of people's lives. Like, not on no ego stuff, just like with some stuff that's happening. Um, that's really what's on my mind. I just want to wake up and go back home with my dog. So yeah, how do you feel, Leon? Oh, I'm glad that I'm here. I think that's huge to have somebody go through this with you. Your best friend, that's me. Hello, welcome. Oh <laughs> um, no, I'm glad that I'm here. I think it's a lot. I mean, we, we think about it. Oh, it's just a little procedure. No, anytime you are doing anything where you are knocked out, knocked out and being changed, like anesthesia is real. Like you're not going to remember anything. They'll, they're gonna literally tell you to count down from 10, you're gonna get to eight and be gone. So we got her all the way upstairs. Got her out on the couch. She's actually more alert than I thought she was going to be, which is awesome, cause she's a superstar. She's really pissed about her hair though. Mom, I am. <laughs> she's so mad I just don't her. understand how it got sweated out when I'm asleep. I told her to just put it in two braids. Um, But it wasn't, Where's your clip? Didn't you have a clip or something on? I had to take it out. Um, what did I say? I don't know. I'm not in your head. Oh. Um, How you feeling? So my butt hurts. It hurts. But like once the Percocets kick in, it'd be cool. It was like the only thing that's hard is like when I get up, like my stomach, um, like the little holes in my stomach hurt. And I like, glanced in the mirror, but it's a bit like it's it's really swollen, so it looks like gigantic. And I'm just hoping that like a lot of that goes down because I didn't want it to be too big, like too obvious, you know. What I'm so I won't go too in depth of my actual experience because I'm actually going to make another video on things to consider or things you should know before getting one and i don't want the videos to be redundant i despise redundancy so i won't go too much into my experience but it was definitely an experience <laughs> i will say that um it, it it's actually was what i thought it was i thought i'd be in more pain than i was but um it was interesting. It was my first surgery. I have never been under the knife before. I've never been under in a, uh, Hey. I've never been under anesthesia before. So it was my first time actually going through that experience, um, elective or not. So it was interesting, right? But there it is. So 
here are a couple few positive and like negatives on my BBL experience. So the first positive, my waist is cinched, okay? Now granted, I'm still a big girl, right? And so I still have stomach, but the back fat, not there. Bra line, everything is just like amazing. So I can wear certain things I couldn't wear. I still wear shapewear, obviously, um, but it just, I, so here's the thing. I got my butt done with the intent on getting my butt done. It was like, yeah, I knew I would lose fat areas, but I wasn't worried about the liposuction part. I was just focused on the fat transfer. But the lipo, okay. Like, you feel me? It looks amazing. I'm happy. Like, my style of dress has definitely... Mm, I won't say that. My style of dress has changed a bit. So I will wear see-through items now that I wouldn't have normally worn in the first place. Or I would wear like a bodysuit and jeans when I would have never worn a bodysuit and jeans before. I'll wear like a two-piece outfit when my stomach kind of comes out a bit more than it would ever have come out when before I got it done. So like my style of dress has changed, but I'm still me. Like... I appreciate that I could experiment a little bit more with clothing, um, but still maintain my like, normally I'm pretty conservative, right? I've always had to be conservative, number one, just because that's kind of woman that I am. But two, I didn't have a body that let me do any type of experimenting without someone looking at me like, I'm that person, okay? <laughs> I'm that person that if I see somebody that's wearing something they shouldn't be wearing, I'll just give a look like, what was your friends? You feel me? Like, what was your friend? I'm, I'm happy. I love randomly going into the mirror. Like, I'll be sitting on my couch chilling. And then, like, I'll be like, huh. I don't know what my butt looks like right now. So, I go to the bathroom. I'll just start twerking in the mirror. Like, I just love it. Like, I'm, I'm really happy with my results. What I can definitely say, and I'm not, I don't even know how this worked, right? Again, my weight didn't change. It changed probably all of like five pounds, right? But the placing was different. My first time doing Runyon Canyon, it took me an hour and a half to get up there and get down. The first time I did Runyon, which was like, I think a, a month, four or five weeks after my surgery, 45 minutes. Like, and I was out of, I was out of breath at some points, but I did not stop as much. I was going quicker. So I guess like the fat just being in different places uh, and off of my midsection allowed me to have more endurance. Um, and I was able to go further. Mm -mm, nope. I was able to go farther and for a longer period of time. So I think I've gone on like three or four different hikes since then. I'm supposed to go on a hike a month. But life happens, whatever. But each time I've gone on the hike, it's just been faster and faster. Um, going up the stairs is just different. So I appreciate that um, a lot with getting my BBL. I actually didn't think that would be a thing um, because I still had the same amount of weight on me. But it wasn't. So I'm actually really happy about that. Now, don't get me wrong, everything is not peaches and cream. So, there are some negatives that I experienced getting my BBL. Um, and I'm going to try not to say too much because, again, I'm putting out a thing that you should know before video. But one of the things that I did not appreciate, <laughs> the healing process, the amount of time. Okay, so... I could not sit on my butt for six weeks, okay? It was six whole weeks before I could sit down. So when I would come home, I would lay on my stomach a lot. Well, I would always lay on my stomach. Granted, they give you a butt pillow, so like you could put your thighs, you, you sit on your thighs basically. But for me, and I, I don't really know why, but my lower back hurt a lot when I used that pillow. So when I would come home, I would just wanna lay down. But it had gotten to a point where like, the laying down and like the using your elbows to get up. These, like I had black marks right here um, from just 
my elbows rubbing up against like fabric and just trying to get up and get down and get up and sit down. Um, it was a lot. So, and as someone who sleeps on her stomach, I was just like, oh, laying on my stomach, this is about to be a breeze. You feel me? No, it was not a breeze. Um, you actually get really tired of laying on your stomach. You want to be able to do different things, sit different ways. So that was just a lot. Um, no promises, right? So it doesn't matter. You can come out of surgery with a voluptuous butt. As a matter of fact, once you come out of surgery, your butt is going to be the biggest that it's going to be because it's swollen, it's fresh. The fat has not like chosen the blood supply yet, all that good stuff. Here's the issue though, right? The doctor can only do so much. It's up to your body to retain what they put in you and to finish like forming your body. And so your butt can look one way and then the fat has to attach to a blood supply. And if it doesn't, it kind of just dies or goes away, does whatever it does. I don't know. I don't want to be wrong, but it, it may not stay that way, right? And so you could have like a really nice round butt and then it can either shrink um or it can start to like look a little different and there's nothing the doctor can do right it's all about how your body accepts the fat that's being put in it so there's no real promises on it actually a lot of folks um a lot of people end up getting a bbl twice in life um for the best results so that's something that's just pretty interesting the last thing babe, is just public perception right so folks thinking no one knew about this only like a handful of folks knew that I got my butt done beforehand and even after there's a lot of people in my life who do not know unless they're now watching this video that I got my, my body done um people can think what they want to think about you I'm a very private person although I'm an open book I'm also really private at the same time so I like to keep certain parts of me and my business to myself um and like most people i'll actually admit that people's opinion does actually bother me to a certain extent um so i would say public perception is one i have no clue what's going to happen with this video where it's going to go but it's a little bit nerve-wracking because one thing about it and just being a youtuber and putting your stuff out there you're also allowing space for folks to comment or think what they think and granted, you can't control the narrative like you think you can. So that's just life anyway. But uh, it gets a little bleh. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I'm actually considering doing it again. Um, probably within like the next maybe three to five years doing it again. Um, I didn't get the protrusion that I exactly wanted. So... I definitely want to go back and like have it poke out a little bit more still like a little a little flat at the top and that's not what I wanted but I would definitely do it again all right y'all so that completes this video a look into my personal life thank you all for watching before you leave make sure that you subscribe to my channel like this video ask some comments if you have any questions about the procedure um i'll make sure that i address those questions either in the comments or stay tuned for my next video or one of my next videos where i go into detail about some things to consider or the things you should know before getting a bbo so again thank you all for watching and tuning in and i will see you next time bye